Canva just launched a bunch of new features and in this video we'll focus on seven new tools that will help you edit faster and create videos that look and sound more professional. Hi, my name is Diana and I am a Canva verified expert. Let's start this video with tool number one, auto trim. Let me start by creating a new video document. This is the new Canva homepage. So I'm going to go and click on videos. And from here, I'm going to select mobile video. This is going to create a new document and open it in the editor automatically. And I have already uploaded a couple of videos that I'm going to use to show you these new tools so i'm going to open the uploads folder go to videos and now i'm going to select a video right here to show you how to use the auto trim feature okay so this video is one minute and 19 seconds now to access this new tool you are going to select your video click on this button with the scissors and then you'll find the auto trim tool in here pay attention because this one has a little crown so that means that this tool is only available to canva pro users so if you have a canva free account and would like to try this feature we have a canva pro free trial in the description coming back here to the auto trim tool i'm gonna click on this button and what canva is going to do is to find the best section on this video or what Canva thinks it's the best section and is going to auto trim the video so pay attention because I have over one minute in this video and when I click on auto trim and now we have a selection of only 23.4 seconds of course and this is what the artificial intelligence thinks is the best section out of the whole video but it's up to you to select the best section that helps you tell your story tool number two highlights to access this new tool you are going to follow the same steps as in the previous one select your video select the scissors button trim and then from here you will find the highlights tool this one as well is a canva pro feature so you're gonna click here and what canva is gonna do is that it's going to identify different sections on your video and it's going to label them so you know what each section is about you are then going to decide if you want to keep some of them or if you want to keep all of these highlights so i'm going to click here and it's going to take a couple of seconds for canva to organize and label these best moments so what i have in here is a little tutorial we have an introduction here and then i have three different tips so this is the first tip second tip and the third tip i indeed talk about high contrast playing with colors and using tools for colors in this video so i can see clearly the different sections on this video you then can select some of these sections and add them to your design so i'm actually going to select all of them you can select only one a couple or all and what canva is going to do is that it's going to split your video into these different sections you can see here on this timeline the different sections that i'm selecting so we see only the first one highlighted but when i select the second one we will see it here now in purple and i'm actually going to select all of these sections pay attention here because i have only one page at the moment but because i'm selecting four different highlights i will end up with four different pages so i have selected the four sections here and i'm adding selection to design and what i find interesting about this tool is that it really is speeding up my editing process because i don't have to manually split all of these sections in the video and i can focus on creating different animations or different slides to introduce each of these tips so i have the introduction here and i'm going to add a little slide 
try to introduce tip number one. And this one I can do it pretty quickly by adding a template from the design tab. I can add any of these or I can simply go to the text tab and select one of these options. So let me go for this one and I'm gonna type here number one and here tip. Let me ungroup these text boxes and make them bigger. Something like this. Why not? And now let's add a quick animation to this slide. Reduce its length. And now I can see the little slide introducing tip number one and then I start talking about it. And now let me give you a quick tip here because highlights can be pretty useful but sometimes is not perfect. And I was listening to page number three and I saw that I actually need to cut or trim a little section at the end of this selection. So let me play it. Fast is key. Make your elements stand out by using high contrast. So this is the little section that I need to trim out. I'm going to select my video, go to the trim feature. Contrast is key. And I'm going to trim this section at the end. Let me play again. Is key. Make your elements stand out by using high contrast and adding a little section at the beginning because I believe there is a little part of the word that is missing. So let me play again. High contrast is key. Make your elements stand out by using high contrast. Perfect. When you're done with trimming your section, you're going to click done and then you can continue editing the rest of your video. Tip number three, enhance voice. This tool is going to help you increase the quality of your audio as it is going to reduce or delete the background noise. So I have a little video here and I want you to pay attention to the beginning of the video right before I start speaking because we're gonna hear a subtle background noise. It's cold. Okay, I hope that you can hear it clearly. And now let's use the enhance voice feature. Let's select the video, go to audio, and from here we have the tool. This one is also available only to Canva Pro users, and all you have to do is to click on this toggle to activate it. Now, let me play again the video so you can hear the little section at the beginning before I start speaking. It's I actually don't hear anything. This is really, really quick, but pay attention. Now, let me play again the original video. So we have here the original and we have here the enhanced voice. And now enhanced. Can you hear the difference? Let me know in the comments. Tool number four, extract audio. With this new tool, you'll be able to extract the audio from a video. So we're coming back here to this project. And as you can see, we don't have any audio track at the moment. The audio is coming from this video right here. And you can extract it this way. You're going to select your video, then go to audio. And from here, you will find this free tool called extract audio and you simply need to click on this button that says extract then you will see the audio from this video appearing on this audio track and i really like this because you can create this voice over effect on your videos okay so i want this section of the audio to appear as a voice over of this light so i'm positioning my guide in here and then by pressing the key S, I'm going to split these tracks into two and the audio as well. Now, all I have to do is to see the length of this section, which is 1.8 seconds, and I'm going to increase this one to the same length, so 1.8. Now, I'm going to move this audio track here and delete this page because this one doesn't have audio, so I'm going to delete it. And now, moving this audio track here so it matches page number three. Now, let me play again this video and see if everything looks fine. High contrast is key. Make your elements stand out by using high contrast. Perfect. So I only need to add maybe one more text box in here that says high contrast. So the video is going to look something like this. 
High contrast is key. Make your elements stand out by using high contrast. Tool number five is the blur animation. If you didn't know, you can apply a lot of different animations in Canva for free. And there is a new one that is going to blur your image when it is appearing on the screen. So it's pretty easy to access this animation. You're going to select the element you want to animate. In this case, I have this photo here. Then you're going to click animate. And the new animation is here under the basic animations. And it is called blur so i'm gonna hover on top of this animation pay attention to the page it is quite quick but you can see the blur effect appearing in there to apply this animation you can simply click on this thumbnail or the name of the animation and then you can decide if you want this animation to appear on enter on exit or on both and if you have a canva pro account you can adjust the speed of the animation animation so you can make it faster by moving this slider to the right or slower if you move it to the left i believe it's easier to appreciate this animation if you make this animation slower Tool number six, succession animation. To access this animation, you're gonna follow the same steps as the previous one. So select your object, go to animate, and again, under the basic animations, you will find succession. In this animation, we see some of this blur effect, but also zoom in motion. So when you hover on the animation, you will see it on your page. And then again, if you want to apply it on your object, object you're gonna click on the animation you can apply this animation for free on enter on exit or both and then if you have a canva pro account you can adjust the speed and the intensity so let me move it to the left to see this animation slower and the intensity Tool number seven, video mockups. To access this new tool, you're gonna go to apps on the left panel and search for mockups. You're going to open this app right here and then you will see this new section called videos. You're gonna click see all and then if you hover your mouse on top of any of these options, you will see that these mockups are actually videos. You can also see the length of the videos right here and all of these mockups are free to use i do suggest you go over each of these mockups right here because you will find some pretty cool animations so if you want to use any of these mockups you're going to click on the one that you like and then you are going to drag and drop any image into the mockup they say that the easiest way to do this is from the uploads tab so i'm going to upload i'm going to upload a screenshot that i took from our channel and i'm going to drag and drop this image into the mockup Canva is going to take just a couple of seconds to apply this image into the mockup. And while this mockup loads, I wanted to share that you can only insert images and also elements in these mockups at the moment. But I do hope that in the near future, we'll be able to add videos as well. So let's cross our fingers. The mockup is ready, so let me increase its size so you can see clearly what is happening in here. I really find in these video mockups incredible and I see myself using them a lot. I think they are pretty aesthetic, they look very modern and the animations are stunning. Let me know in the comments if you see yourself using this mockup feature on your own projects. Remember that I left a Canva Pro free trial in the description, but I'm also leaving it here on the screen. And I invite you to watch this video where Ronnie share all the important announcements Canva made at the Canva Create event.